The following program contains testimonies of true stories by people who have received divine healing through the ministry of VPA. They gave these voluntarily without any directives from VPA. We advise you to always seek your medical practitioner's advice before you make any decisions based on this program. Get ready for incredible testimonies in VPA. Started on him. That thing disappeared and everything was now all right. Shut Jesus! They suddenly! They suddenly! They fire! I saw skin, like snake skin, fall in the bathroom. Shut Jesus! No more insane, no more medical, no more nothing. Go! Shut Jesus! Your story has changed. Wait, God, God, the name of Jesus, your God, story has changed. This man came here last year, did this, did this round for 13 weeks. You announced that three people have an directional problem, they should come out. Come here! You blessed him. That he was not working. Yes. His wife is now here now. The wife is now pregnant. And he's finding a God of the Jesus! One, two, three, fire! Stay tuned for more incredible testimonies in VPA. Victorious Pen. Our God is a healer. Yes. This little girl, Daddy, she was vomiting for more than a week. And the mother gave her three in one. And she drank it and she became okay. Then yesterday again, she started feeling weak. But she now so much believes in the anointing in the Come. house that she asked the mother to Father, anoint I declare her. your power upon your daughter that whatever that is still remaining, let it be out. Amen. Jesus name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It is done. Say it is done. It is done. Oh. Give me the oil here. Give me the oil here. Quickly, bring up me. You set your wound and he my disease you are Lord whatever is not working once you have the three in one and is blessed by you God performs his miracle she took it to Zambia they could not get jobs in her family and people were sick as they applied the anointing on the blood of Jesus people were getting jobs and a woman that had an issue like you said this morning her tummy was popped out like she was pregnant and God of VP, as she applied the anointing oil, that Tommy went back in. Shut Jesus! And she had had issues too. God Father, thank you for demonstrating your power upon flesh. Your time has come. Your time has come. Bless you. Let's appreciate God for his life. Go and hold him. That's your tattoo. That's your tattoo. Let's appreciate God for their life. I was in Nigeria for about three months and the sun was so harsh that when I came back I was dehydrated and I was admitted wow. and um, by the grace of God it was only three days and I came out. Can we appreciate God? Okay. July 1st I will be 70. And she looked just 15. She looked 15. Why the old man looks 16? <laughs> only if I were you now, I will make the air like my own and you become 14. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, your wife so much loves you and, 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 and not only that, she's a good woman. Correct. She's a woman, nobody knows her for trouble. We know her as a mother. She's always there. She's a peacemaker. Full of love. Discipline. They are new that we had back of a woman. There's a tough man we had. When I mean tough, I don't mean carrying cane or blowing, but a man that is that not to, of integrity. So we love you and we cherish you. And I declare that whatever that is not godly, Bible says every plant, my will has not planted in my body shall be uprooted. Based on that, as, not, as God has anointed me, whatever that is not godly planted in you, we 
let you go now. The name of the is the healing now. Lord, time has come. Can we appreciate Jesus for their life? Daddy, she's thanking the God of BPA, mommy. He said, uh, Daddy, for 20 years she was drinking. And drinking. For drinking. Wow. But the, let's hear from her. The, the cut is very short. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, church. First of all, I'm happy my daughter's here today on Sunday. How old is she now? Uh, she's 16. She just, 16. She just happy birthday. Your time has no, come. No, she just completed 14 GCSE exams. I'm oh, so let's proud. appreciate her for that. For God for getting her through. She's also applied for Sixth Form College and there's limited places, so I'm just hoping she gets blessed today to get a place. It is done. Bless you. Um, I completed my deliverance in February and one of my afflictions was drinking. I was drinking for 20 plus years. Sorry, Mum, when you watch this. Sorry, sorry. Um, and this week... Where's the Mum? No, she's not here, but she'll be watching when it goes out on air. So okay, Mum! <laughs> Mum! <laughs> I'm sorry I was young, I'm sorry. But this, this week I had a dream and it was somebody who, was, who looked like a relative of mine was saying to me, come and have a drink. So I said, no, I don't drink anymore, you know this. She said, come and have a drink. Shut Jesus! She said, no, it's okay, come, come have a drink. In your dream? In my dream. So I said, no, God has stopped me from drinking for a you reason. See, if you can't resist them, that they cannot catch you from the car. He resists them even in the dream. Hallelujah. I said, God has stopped me drinking for a reason. You're not going to spoil it. She said, no, it's okay. As she said that, you appeared next to me. You looked at her. She looked at you. She bowed her head. She backed away and disappeared. Church Jesus. Jesus. God is doing what does in your life. Because you give your life for him. Father, thank you for this. For, 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 for the spirit of resistance, your time has come. Go ahead to exploit in Jesus' name. That he is thanking God for using you to speak to her in her dreams since she started her deliverance. Hmm. She said the afflictions are coming to an end. She because said the first time you said to her it is about your dreams. And that is exactly what you told her when she came to see you on one to one. The second one, you woke her up from a deep slumber when the service was going on. Then yeah, they, yeah. Yes. Good. Then the third one, you gave her lemon and honey. And when she was saying it's bitter, you said to her, that is exactly what you need. And wow. she took it, and since then, she thinks as in. Church Jesus! Jesus! Thank you for it in her life. Your time has come. In Jesus' name. She said, Daddy, all of a sudden, she became. Bless you. She became unwell. And then all of a sudden, it was like a chill. And she was becoming very, very sick all of a sudden. But the God of VPA, before you know that she was watching you on TV, something spoke to her. So she was watching you on TV and praying. Before she realized it, she went into a deep sleep. And then you appeared to her. When you appeared to her, you didn't even deal with her first. You dealt with the issue that needs to be dealt with, the husband. You have brief cases with you and then telling her to come and take it. Then after, a couple of days later, healing came to her. She was totally normal now. Then after, she went again to another deep sleep again. But this time, when you appeared, it's for Anna you've come back to sort her issues out for her. Then daddy, after she was healed totally, a couple of days later, the husband too became sick. All of a sudden, paralysis from nowhere, like was going to be paralyzed. But the miracle that God used to perform, God knew her head that could be serious than ours. So God perfected that one first. But the God of VPA, the husband is going to work now, he's going to come back and testify. Oh, we appreciate Jesus. He's just glorifying God Father, in thank VPA. you for tracking this family. Your time has come. In Jesus' name. Daddy, yeah. indeed, there is God in this house. There is God in this house. This is your son standing here. Had a problem. He hadn't worked for a year. But thank God for a good wife who stood by him and encouraging him. For a year. It's not easy. Some women will make you a year. They will put their head on your head. But, they, but the good ones, they will just remember the past. That when you were, when you were able, you were able to supply. You no, know, they are so good women. They are, they are so good women. They came to a church and God spoke through you. Mm. You said, 
if you know you are not working, get up. You prayed for them. That the, after the prayer, he got a job. Church Jesus! He got a job. And when you call people to plead for the new altar, he came out and is here to fulfill that. Can we appreciate Jesus? Oh. I say, God, supply. And now we do. Daddy, our God is a healer. Of course. She said for the past 15 years, she's had high blood pressure. But today, she is celebrating a bad day without high blood pressure. Church Jesus! Jesus! You see, and what is calling high blood pressure is all those things. And Bible says, in all those things, we are more than high blood pressure. What is called the upper pressure is in all those things. And Bible says, in all those things, we are more than what? Anyone that is that will stress you, God will give them triple trust in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, you know, your time has come. Thank God that you are not stress free. You can't have God that has stress. Lift up your heart. Say, I receive Jesus. And I reject stress. But you have Jesus, you have life. Jesus does not carry along with stress. That's why he told us ahead that in all those things, you are more than what? True in the love source. We are more than cockera. Say, I'm a cockera. If you're a cockera, what is stress? What is stress? Stress out of, my, out of my life. Your time has come. No more stress in your life. In Jesus' name. What wow. a mighty God he will serve in VPA. What a mighty God will serve. She had a relation of her that was in intensive care, in coma, since the February of this year. She brought a photograph to you, Daddy, and you lifted it up. And today, to the glory of the God of VPA, this person has been discharged and has walked home. Church Jesus! Jesus! So thank you for this testimony. Your time has come. She has come to glorify the God of VPA, the God of Pastor Alex of Mokodo, because through the teachings here, she received her healing. Even when the enemy wanted to speak negative to her, she believed in God. And after the Holy Communion on Sunday, the pain she was feeling in her hand is now gone. And because of her testimony, that Church Jesus! Jesus! To tell you, you are here. Look at your color. It's coming out. Looking like a um, 80 years girl. That I'm is, church. Because of that, her healing. God has opened doors for her. She's now going to, all over the world to talk to people about how God can heal cancer. Can we appreciate Jesus? And because of that, Daddy, she now believes in the man of God. She believes in you so much. She hasn't paid tithe for over four years. She didn't believe in any of that. But today, she has decided to follow so, Jesus. So you don't pay tithe before. Well, it's true. But you see, she used to be a Muslim. And God has healed her. Not only Ili, Ili, uh, they say the mother was um, something uh, Aji, uh, a sister Aji, was uh, it was her sister Aji, the police, that's the, the top level. And I was told she came here last time when she had the body healing. A Muslim. That she never paid tap to anybody before. But you see, that's what I say. You don't need to preach about giving. You can't see God and not give. So, what you are saying now, you say, you, 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 you are telling the devil, it was good to afflict me. And now I'm now. You see, the devil does make us famous. He does the job that will make us famous. It's evil, God, not to turn it for good. And what do you. I know you talk like that, not not time is all against us. The lab, happen. God will through you, through you, through you. God will touch their life. In Jesus' name. Good morning, Daddy. Bless you, daughter. Um, I mean, 
I've never really had a physical miracle in my life. This is the wow. first physical healing. Physical healing. Physical that I've seen a demonstration of wow. God in my life. Wow. So it's just amazing. And um, what happened was I was here on Wednesday and then in the service and then I, I at one moment we were pledging. I pledged. Yeah. I pledged. Yeah. I pledged. And then I went home. But I could feel something very small, like just like a little pea, very tiny, just up here. So yeah. I said, oh, that's nothing. I just rubbed some little ointment oh, yeah. and just went to bed. But by the morning, it had turned to a golf ball. And not just on my chin, on my throat, the whole thing, to the point where it was affecting... At first, I thought, oh, this is mysterious. It will disappear. But after about 24 hours... It didn't go down and it was getting more harder and harder so I said and and it was affecting my swallowing it was affecting my head so I said I better run to the doctor before it gets bigger because I don't know what it is so by the time I got to the doctor um, they just said because I just went with my little handbag thinking they'll just give me some medicine I'll go home maybe it's an allergy but I am um, they said we're not letting you go home so I thought, oh. Then they said, well, we'll see the consultant. And from there, we're transferring you to a specialist hospital. So I didn't even have time to call my husband, the family. I was just quite, this is so mysterious, 24 hours. So they transferred me to that unit. And um, they said, we're going to operate on you within, right in the morning. We're going to give you some medicine and we're taking you straight to the theater. So my husband was with me, and I just looked at him because I was quite scared about it, you know. But anyway, when I got to the ward, I remembered that Daddy said, "Don't do any operation without consulting you," mm. and especially the way they said, "We're going to have to open up your throat. We're going to have to put things in, drain it." The way they said it was so scary. We're going to cut your throat open. I said, "No, I, I can't do that," but I didn't tell them. I said, I must get through to daddy. And that was on a Monday. You were counseling. Yep, the, um. So I just prayed. I, I called auntie, auntie Clara, and she was so lovely. She texted me, called me back immediately. She prayed for me. And she said, I'm going to get daddy no matter what, no matter how busy he is. So I was there, and um, the consultants were running up and down. And then you called me, and you prayed with me. And it just gave me so much strength to faith and you said and I explained to you what happened and you said don't do any operation just if, let them treat you but don't do any operation can we appreciate Jesus <laughs> so but that morning they all rushed to my bed about 20 consultants they even brought more students to come and see this horrible thing and um, for themselves they just said well we're not going to operate. I didn't tell them not to. They just said, we're not going to operate. We're going to observe you for a day, and then we'll see what we're going to do next. And the next thing after a day, I know, they just said, well, we think we can treat it just naturally. We don't need any operation. <laughs> Church Jesus! So I was so excited. And, and, we, and, and now with an operation, you are okay. Everything, yes. Can we appreciate Jesus? Father, you have done this again. Concerning the babies, Lord. Daddy, you said, is there anything to add for you to do? Father, I want to see that testimony expressly. But we are taking you, Lord, for, for your touch. For, your, for healing your daughter. And then we know that baby, they are coming expressly. Take them and come out and testify. Can we appreciate Jesus again? Good morning, church. As a baby on my mother's back, I used to be a poster baby for Oster Milk and um, Cow and Gates in the whole of West Africa as a baby. My mom said I was on her back. She took me to go and see her sister-in-law. They were pounding yam that I like yam and they put uh, palm oil with it. I was going at the back. Uh, uh, so she gave me the, the lady gave me the yam and the palm oil. Since then, where did they take me? Sometimes two weeks, three weeks, I won't go. Toilet. Yes. Now you are talking enough. Know, yeah? Yes. Because you said last year, around about October, November here, 
you will stand in the altar. There's somebody in the church here don't go to toilet regularly. Wow. I couldn't come back because it was so embarrassing. No, all I no, do. It's, it's not embarrassing. All sickness I, is sickness. Yes. I didn't take it as a sickness. All I do, I just drink a lot of fluid, orange juice. From the age of 10, I've never drank Coke, Fanta. I don't drink any of those because of the carbon. So when but I went... Man, you can go to I, I can't believe it. Now. I'll say he... Can we appreciate Jesus? Father, thank you for doing this in my life. If you get an unfavorable report, there's a man in town that God is using to change that report. Oh. Daddy, she got, I, don't, I, I, I see, I brought her God on a favorable report, so she called you. And you blessed and prayed for her. But truly, they said it was cancer. When they did all their tests, they were going to operate. After she called you, blessed her, they altered the operation to continue to do more things because they said they saw more things. But truly, after you've prayed, God honors his own. After all those tests and reports, what they saw was what? Appendix. Shout Jesus! That is the God we serve. Father, thank you for proving yourself big. Our God is a big God. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Shout Jesus! Jesus! I would like to thank our God of Pastor Alex Omokudu for the deliverance since i've been coming for deliverance this is my eighth week now um i used to have nightmares during the night and i couldn't sleep and um since i've started deliverance i'm sleeping seven hours a night like a baby no problems at all and, I, Jesus! and another thing when i started my deliverance i had an attack on my teeth and nearly all my teeth were sort of loose and I was having some gum problems. That's why my speech is not very clear. But I thank God of Pastor Alex Omokodu because all my teeth are intact and I can eat my chicken nicely. Hallelujah! Church Jesus! It's God. And also on Wednesday, Papa called us to come and pray for us and um, on Tuesday for those that were going for, for interviews. And I went for my interview and I got a new job. I would like to thank Jesus. Shout Jesus! For I thank you for what you have done in our life. Receive more. We truly serve a mighty God in VPA. On Sunday, the mom said to him, rather than go to library, come to church with me. You have to come to church with me. She insisted. But truly, there is a God presence in this house. So he obeyed his mom and came to church. After they finished 3.30, they went home, he went to bed. His own best friend that he was supposed to go to library with was stabbed. But truly, God is awesome. Church Jesus! Jesus! This one is good to obey mother and father. So they just come to thank God, Daddy. That boy is still in casualty at the moment. He's in but they're thanking God Father, today. thank you for giving your son the listening ear. I declare from this day forward, you will always remain in where God is. Evil friend will not have access to you again in Jesus' name. And you see, the boy is, is crying. Let me ask, why is he crying? No, why are you crying? Why are you crying? Huh? Oh, no. Oh. Look at his weeping. Weeping. Can we appreciate God again? So, you mean. Take the microphone. So, you told that. Told, <laughs> you can't do it. This, you see? Why it's good to talk to your children and they hear you. This is a miracle. The best friend, they were to go out together. But the mother said, no. Follow me to church. And the boy just obey. And now the next day is the, the, the friend is tapped. And it's a casualty. We declare the boy to receive life. And let the boy come to church. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. 
Hey, tell me God is not, God is not here. <laughs> it's God at work. It is God. It is God. Look at the boy. He's dropping tears in the eyes. Can we appreciate Jesus again? We can do better. We can do better. We can do better. Wow. Well, Thank you.